The island of Molokai is the fifth largest of the main Hawaiian islands. It measures roughly 38 miles long by 10 miles wide. Over the past 100 years, Molokai has maintained a population well under 10,000 residents. Agriculture has long been a primary industry on Molokai. In the late 1970s, large-scale pineapple operations left the island, making room for the expansion of diversified crops. The most important factor for agriculture on Molokai today, as in the past, is water. The Molokai Irrigation System, or MIS, spans the central portion of Molokai. It represents the primary source of water for agriculture. Stage one of the system was completed in the late 1960s. An additional three stages were included in the original plan, but remain undeveloped. The MIS is designed to collect surface and ground water from northern Molokai. It is in many ways an engineering wonder. Water is transported via gravity feed through a five-mile tunnel, a short length of concrete flume, and then nearly four miles of pipeline. The water is collected in a 1.4 billion gallon reservoir and distributed to over 230 customers via 22 miles of distribution pipeline. The MIS serves a diversity of users ranging from large to small-scale farms, homesteaders and non-homesteaders, and for-profit and home consumption egg operations. By law, a two-thirds preference to the water is reserved for the actual needs of Native Hawaiians on Hawaiian homestead lands. The MIS is vital to agriculture on Molokai. The age of the system, the complexities of its management, and continually changing user needs make for ongoing challenges. These challenges must be identified and addressed efficiently and effectively. The Molokai irrigation system is a vital asset to our business and to all farmers on Molokai. And obviously as farmers, the most important thing we need is water. And that's where the MIS system comes into play. It has uh, allowed uh, both agribusiness and uh, Hawaiian homestead farmers and other entrepreneur farmers to uh, successfully coexist. This system really have to be in top shape uh, to continue our growth here. You know, agriculture has grown tremendously um, since um, uh, the demise of the pineapple here, and uh, it will continue to grow provided water and uh, is available. I support the agriculture in any form. Uh, but we need water. So the efficiency of the system, the availability of water, um, the continuing of making sure that this water is going to be available to farmers, obviously for us is going to be critical. This video tour of the MIS is intended to highlight all of the main features of the system. The sequence of the tour is designed to replicate an actual site tour of the system and begins in the town of Kaunakakai. An access road running north of Kaunakakai intercepts the system at the west portal of the Molokai Water Tunnel at an elevation of 970 feet. Access is secured by a series of locked gates. Located at the west portal is the tunnel control building, power lines that feed through the tunnel, the tunnel entrance itself, and a flow measuring gauge for water exiting the tunnel. Completed in 1962, the Molokai Water Tunnel is 8 feet by 8 feet, horseshoe-shaped, and has a concrete base with one and a half foot high walls. The remaining surface of the tunnel is unlined. The tunnel runs 5.1 miles east and is the only route for vehicular access to Waikolu Valley. The east portal is located in Waikolu Valley at an elevation of 990 feet. Waikolu is a steep walled valley with one primary stream fed by a series of tributaries. The stream has a flashy characteristic and generates its peak flow during the rainy months. Housed at the east portal is a motor control and oil switch station for the upper pumps. The east portal is where water collected and pumped from the valley feeds into the tunnel system. The only constant inflow comes via gravity flow from the upper intakes 
while pump generated inflow occurs only when the pumps are activated. There are three gravity flow intakes located near the 1,000 foot elevation of the east portal. These include intakes 1, 2, and 3. Intake 1, located down a short walkway, serves as the primary diversion of the Waikolu stream. It is a continuous source for surface water. However, its capacity fluctuates greatly between rainy and dry seasons. Located across the valley from the east portal is Intake 2. Constructed at the base of a waterfall, Intake 2 diverts water from a tributary of the Waikolu stream. Water flow is less consistent and smaller in volume compared to intake 1. Located just below intake 2 is well 24. It is one of four wells actively pumped in the valley. The remaining three wells are located at lower elevations accessible by a rocky 4x4 trail. Well 23 is at an elevation of 875 feet. Well 5 is at 795 feet, and Well 6 at 766 feet. Located 260 feet below the east portal of the tunnel is the Lower Diversion Dam. Because of its lower elevation, this diversion requires a pump station to transport water up to the tunnel. The station consists of three pumps that are automatically activated by water level switches. All of the water collected in Waikolu Valley is fed into the Molokai water tunnel. Once in the tunnel, the transmission portion of the system operates entirely on gravity flow. Back at the west portal, water exits the tunnel through a filtering grate and flows through a short length of underground pipe to a transition box. This box is also used as the throwaway. There's a separate sluice gate which opens up to a drainage way and uh, will divert water out of the system so service can be performed on the uh, transmission pipeline. From the transition box, the water flows through a 1,600-foot covered concrete flume. At the end of the concrete flume is another transition box that serves as an overflow should the transport pipeline experience blockage further down in the system. From here, the water travels west through 3.8 miles of pipeline. The pipeline runs both above and underground and spans a series of gouches as it makes its way toward the Kualapu'u Reservoir. The entire length of the transmission pipeline is accessible via dirt road. Air relief valves, or ARVs, are located at high points along the pipeline. Also installed for maintenance purposes are blowout valves. These are found at low points along the transmission pipeline. Back here is a typical blowout valve, which we utilize to uh, clean out the uh, sediments and uh, small pieces of debris that collect in the transmission pipeline. A little more than halfway to the reservoir, Molokai Ranch currently has a connection to the MIS transmission pipeline from its mountain system. A little further down is a second connection point. An agreement originally made in 1975 allows Molokai Ranch to transport water from its own water sources through the MIS to its land holdings in West Molokai. The flow meter measuring Molokai Ranch's input is read and recorded daily by MIS staff. One final stretch of pipeline brings the water into the Kualapu'u Reservoir for storage. Access to the reservoir is via gated security fence. Construction of the reservoir was completed in 1969. We're standing at the northeastern corner of the reservoir where the intake flume is. This is where the uh, water enters the reservoir from the 30-inch transmission pipeline. The current level of the reservoir is approximately 19 and a half feet. The total capacity of uh, Kualapu Reservoir is 1.4 billion gallons, and that would entail a depth of 50 feet of water. For maintenance and emergency purposes, the reservoir is equipped with a bypass valve to allow direct flow of water from the transmission pipeline into the distribution system. 
The reservoir is also designed with an emergency spillway. The floor of the emergency spillway is uh, set at 50 feet. So as water rises over the 50-foot uh, level, it would cross over this uh, curbing and enter the emergency spillway, preventing the reservoir from overtopping. The outlet of the reservoir connects to a 24-inch distribution pipe underground. Serving the upper areas of Ho'olehua in central Molokai requires a 250,000 gallon holding tank located at a higher elevation. The booster pump station for this tank is located on Farrington Avenue. This is the uh, Farrington Avenue booster pumps. Uh, this takes water from the distribution pipeline from the reservoir, Kuala Pur Reservoir and transports water up to the uh, Lihipali storage tank. The entire MIS distribution system includes over 22 miles of pipeline servicing customers throughout the Ho'olehua area. Customers with larger operations connect to the distribution system with larger capacity laterals. The largest users typically install their own filtration systems. The distribution system ends west of Ho'olehua in the Mahana area. At this point, Molokai Ranch withdraws its water that was conveyed by the MIS. Water is transported west via a private system. The flow meter is read and recorded daily by MIS staff. Daily operations and management are performed by a three-man field crew based out of the MIS facility located in central Ho'olehua. Administrative functions are centralized at the main office of the HDOA and the Agriculture Resource Management Division. Constant upkeep, monitoring, and servicing of the physical features of the MIS is vital. The system is approaching its project life and needs to begin replacement of its major components. Currently, there are many factors limiting the system's ability to efficiently collect, transport, store, and deliver water to MIS users. These challenges, plus the larger issue of increasing the overall capacity of the system, are challenges that face the HDOA and the Molokai agricultural community. To help find solutions to these challenges, the HDOA works with the MIS Advisory Board. The Molokai Irrigation System Advisory Board uh, advises the Hawaii Department of Agriculture on matters of concerns uh, from the MIS users. We are also involved in both the uh, operational and uh, long-range planning of the improvement of the Molokai irrigation system. Everyone on Molokai shares a common vision that holds agriculture as an important industry that deserves expansion. Agriculture fits the rural, subsistent lifestyle of the island and provides important economic opportunity. Farmers have access to extremely fertile land, but in the end, it is water availability and the many issues that surround its distribution that will define the way forward.